this very quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to enter text in a spreadsheet that starts with a zero. So if you have tried doing this before, you must have noticed that if you add zeros to the left, the spreadsheet simply ignores them. That's because when it's a number, zeros to the left, they mean nothing. So for example, I'm going to enter here the ball 007, press return, and all I'm left with is a seven. Um, so there is a workaround that and the use case is, for example, you need to enter um, insurance number or um, account number or anything, any type of number where you have zeros to the left and you need the specific number of zeros to the left. So um, the way to do it is to add a single inverted comma before the number and then you can type in 007 and return and there you go. The spreadsheet will take the number into account. Now, uh, you must have noticed here that the seven, the first seven that I, seven that I entered went to the right and the 007 that I, wanted, that I uh, typed in with uh, an inverted comma went to the left. That's because the first seven is a number and the second one now is being read by the spreadsheet as text. So let me show you. I'm gonna add seven here again and on B2 I'm gonna add inverted comma 007 and we're gonna try to sum. So equal sum. Let's sum this two and that's a 14. And uh, autofill is already suggesting that I will sum 007 and 007 and that's zero. And that's because there's no numbers here. So there you go. You can enter zeros to the left if you use the inverted comma before, but then you cannot sum the numbers. So just something to be aware of.